Well, there's a new grief support uh, group in our area. We're going to learn more about this grief recovery method. Joining us today from the Putnam County Health Department, she's Director of Nursing, Sherry Becker, and thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Okay, so this is kind of a newer program to our area. Tell us maybe even how you found it and why you wanted to bring it to the Putnam County area. So how we started with this program is that um, in our 2021 community health assessment for Putnam County, we found a slight uptick in the number of people that were saying they had felt sad or hopeless, you know, for two or more weeks in a row in the last year. So we thought, you know, what's something that was started us looking at what's something that we can offer to the community for that. And then the Ohio Department of Health was um, helping to promote this grief recovery method and so that's how we got involved with it okay and th this is there's good research based on this method and that's why you want to bring the program because we know that it works right right so at, at the health department we're always looking for evidence-based programs because we want something that we know is going to work so this is an evidence-based grief recovery program um, back from 2019 and so it's gaining popularity actually all over the united states and in several other countries around the world too all right and if you've experienced, and there's grief at so many different levels. I was telling you before that we got on the air that people mainly think death, but I mean, there's so many other things that you could be grieving about and maybe you don't even realize it, right? Right, right. There's really, um, and it talks about over 40 different losses that you can experience and grieve over. So there's things like death, but also just the loss of a job. You move, when, when you move, your kids might be moving school districts, but you're leaving that neighborhood that you're familiar with, the house you created memories with so you can grieve that and sometimes just a loss of friendships too that we grieve that a loss mm -hmm. of significant others in our lives so no matter what the loss this program can help out right and so it's eight weeks is that eight eight different times you're going to gather together mm -hmm. right yep it's eight different weeks all right so what will it be like when people come together for this um you you mentioned the book so we've got the book so is there more to it than just the reading? There is. So it is based on the Grief Recovery Method Handbook. So everyone that attends the program gets this book. Um, we want people to attend all, all eight sessions because it builds on each other each time. And so we start out with looking at our past and what have we learned that may not be that helpful to us in dealing with our grief. And so there's um, a host of different myths that we learn that we kind of dive into and look at that. What have you learned? You know specifically as a participant and then how to and it builds on that to learn like what are more effective techniques and we do some you know small group discussions some hands-on work during the class along with reading mm -hmm. well I think we're a little bit more open now maybe about mental health and working through grief but back in the day it was like you can just deal with it on your own and everybody kind of just stayed at home and dealt with it and I assume you're learning through this that's not the, a good way for many people and that's a big one especially in our area it's like just deal with it don't talk about it we talk about grieving alone and you know aren't you told as a child you know if you're gonna cry you have to go to your room but nobody <laughs> tells you if you're happy go to your room you know if you're smiling and laughing then go to your room so we look at all those different things that we've learned learned and are we teaching our children that to, just through our example you mm -hmm. know not showing them they say be strong for others you know use a stiff upper lip all those kind of things that you're told um, to do really have some negative side effects right, for you. yeah all right so the first meeting is October 2nd so I assume you want people to sign up ahead of time so you know who's coming in to get mm -hmm. the class size right right um, exactly we want people to um, call the health department we'll give you information on on registration and you get a copy of the book then too so we want people to register so we know the group size we like to keep it at around 10 you know around 10 to 12 people just because we do those small groups too we want it manageable mm -hmm. um, there at the health department right so know that when you come to these sessions you'll be you talk Talking with others and, and you know, working things out together, right? And do, you said doing even some exercises together and stuff, right? Yeah. yeah some Hands on. Some people are scared. They're like, I don't want to share my whole story. I don't want to, you know, get in a circle and do a lot of sharing. But it's really, it's different than that. And I'm always impressed when we do these programs, just the bonding that occurs during those. And wow. you become a real support system for each other. I'm sure you do. All right. The grief recovery method of the grief support group. Sherry, thanks for coming today. Thanks for having me. All right. Don't go away. We'll take a look at the weather forecast next.